Greetings from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Welcome back to the bungalow. I want to thank everybody back for another episode. Um, today, we are going to be doing top five rye whiskeys for 2022. As you can see, there's two little ears that are right here in the bottom of the screen. Somebody at the last minute decided they wanted to be on my lap. For those of you that are new to watching this channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you slide over and hit the arrow, you can drop down into the root cellar and there are some links along with some discount codes. And there are also um, my email address to get a hold of me if you have something you want me to sample or review or just to ask me a question please feel free that's my cigar humidor there i usually cover cigars and pipe tobacco but um i do obviously drink a drink so um somebody requested this video and that's why you're getting it but for those of you that are new to the channel this is piper piper is a hundred percent palm she is six months old Say hi, Piper. Yeah. Say hi. See, I was born in New York. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you done now? Are you satisfied? You can't lay up here. I'm doing a video. Here. Play with lamb chop. So, let's get into it. Number five on my list comes in at 94 proof. This this bottle is. It is a single barrel proof, so each barrel, each bottle will be different, I guess, uh, depending on the barrel. But uh, I like this one, so I, I think I would buy another bottle to try another one. But it is single barrel Jack Daniels rye, and as you can see, I've drank. I've been into her a pretty good bit. And uh, it's a, a really, really nice, nice ride to drink. I love it. And um, now and then I like to put a little ginger ale in it, just like a touch. And uh, especially the ginger ale bold, because it's really, really strong in the ginger. And uh, it just mixes very well for me. Like I said, now and then Jack and Ginger go well together. And um, they're a fine marriage. They're not no Johnny and June, but I'll tell you what, they're not bad. Number four is Angel's Envy Finished Rye. This comes in at 100 proof, and I will tell you that this is a fantastic bottle. Uh, I haven't drank a whole lot out of it because it's so good. I really enjoy it, but it's also pretty expensive. Um... You're looking at $100 a bottle here in Pennsylvania anyway. And uh, I just, I don't want to keep replacing a bottle for 100 bucks, So um, that's just not in my budget. But I'll tell you what, I really do enjoy it. So now and then when I'm really enjoying a really good cigar, that's the rye I will more than likely go to if I'm trying to really outdo her. So, all right. Number four, number three, number three, number three, I do believe is Russell's Reserve six year. This comes in at 90 proof. It, it's it's good. I really like it. Um, for those of you that know me, I am a huge wild turkey fan. I'm not over the hill about this six year yet. Like I said, though, it's still growing on me. I'm trying to find that cigar or that pipe tobacco that it will go so well with. But it's not a bad bourbon. It, I mean, rye. It's really not. So um, that is number three. Number two on our list is none other than Michter's straight rye now this is barrel proof as well so each bottle is going to be different depending on the barrel obviously however as you can see how much is missing out of this this hits the spot oh my word this is amazing 
This goes well with any Mexican San Andreas wrapper cigar. Uh, a Maduro cigar it goes extremely well with. I have also found it to go really well with a Dominican cigar. Because of the nutty notes and the woodsy notes out of the Dominican tobacco, I find that to be a phenomenal pairing. I also enjoy this just neat in a glass, just sitting and relaxing. Um, this reminds me a lot of butterscotch, and I am a huge butterscotch fan. I have a lot of old childhood memories with my grandma carrying those old butterscotch candies that were in the yellow wrappers when we were kids, and uh, she'd carry them in her purse to help keep us kids quiet and under control. So um, that really takes me back there as well, but that's my first bottle of Michter's, and I have to tell you, I am really, really impressed with uh, the Michter's. Now, for those of you that don't know, I really didn't start my bourbon journey whew, until 2020. So, um, in, in the pandemic was when I decided to dive in. I don't know, it's kind of a crazy idea, but that's what I did. Um, so, I am new at it. Also, now we're down to number one. This should be no surprise to you, knowing that I am a gobble till you wobble kind of guy. It is none other than Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Love Wild Turkey 101, and I love the rye as well. As you can see, this is my second bottle, and I've hit her pretty good so far already. Um, this just really hits the spot. They changed the bottle, which I really love the look and the presentation of it. The label is small, it's letting the bourbon do the talking, and I just love that look. It is fantastic. This is a nice cinnamon, but it's it's spicy because of the rye, obviously. It reminds me of the the gummy cinnamon bears that you get that are that are spicy. They are phenomenal, and these are just as good. Um, this actually, for me, goes really well with a Connecticut blend cigar, something a little milder to medium body. Also, uh, it goes very well for me with a Virginia blend or a, uh, a um, Kentucky Fire Cured blend of... Uh, pipe tobacco, something that's got Kentucky fire cured and burly mixture, this would go really, really well with it. So uh, that's just my observations. Uh, everybody's taste buds are obviously different as well. This is what I've been, this is what I've found to be my top five rise for 2022. These are the ones that I've really enjoyed the most of. Um, I really am surprised I didn't drink more of the Angel's Envy, but also seeing how expensive it is and the budget that I'm on, that probably explains a good bit why I've been so hesitant on it. But um, I think it's going to go a little bit better in 2023 for me with it because I just, I, there's no point in saving it. If I can't get another bottle right away, I'll just save up for it or whatever, rebudget it and... Uh, but yeah, it's a really good bottle. So that's it for me this this episode. Um, I do want to thank everybody for stopping in. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. Stop in every Friday. I have a fine five on Friday. All you've got to do is hit the dingy dong bell over here in the corner. And it will notify you every time I put a video up. You do not have to worry about me blowing up your feed. I'm not one of those guys. Um... Every Friday, I do a video called Find Five on Friday, which is shouting out other channels to promote them, whether it be a bourbon episode. Most of the time, it's pipe tobacco channels or cigar channels. Um, but I now and then, I will do specific uh, cha uh, channels, you know, a theme rather to it. So, uh, but... That's that. Thank you again for stopping in. And until we can get together and pack a pipe or smoke a great cigar and enjoy that fine spirit, 
Let all that you do be done in love. Y'all take care and God bless. Thank you.